to um, um, that's more than the, the amount that was in every bomb ever fired in above ground testing um, for for 40 years. So there's an enormous amount of radioactivity in a very precarious place. So um, it's a lot of people are saying, why do we have to do this at all? Uh, the building is is uh, weakened structurally, and um, a, a significant earthquake, but not as bad as the one they already have experienced. Um, could could topple the building, in which case we could be in in a pop an apocalyptic um, uh, position. So you got to empty the fuel pool. The the problem is it's being done by Tokyo Electric, the the company that hasn't gotten anything right in the last uh, two and a half years. And so why is the Japanese government continuing to entrust these um, extremely difficult, complex, and risky operations to TEPCO? Uh, so I've analyzed the Japanese response to this accident for two years now. Um, and the, the response has been to protect the bureaucracy and to protect the nuclear industry before protecting the Japanese people. Well, then the key is, um, you know, there's a lot of apocalyptic uh, things out on the Internet now about moving the fuel. But the real apocalyptic thing would be an earthquake not just for Unit 4, which is structurally damaged, but Unit 3 had a detonation inside it, a severe explosion, and is, and is actually structurally a lot worse than Unit 4. So you know, we've got to move forward quickly on um, Unit 3 as well. And frankly, Unit 4 will be a, a, a walk in the park compared to the problems encountered on Unit 3. 